Wait, what is that? It's gonna be an A minus. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today we are going to show you how to do ropa vieja and my dad is going to be the chef today. Okay. He doesn't want to be in the vlog but we He's are the going voice to... He's in our ear right. telling us what we're going to be cooking. Right. So... We have we're... family over too so this is a big thing. Okay so here we have in Spanish it's called carne de re. Yeah. Okay, whatever that means. Then we got some sweet paint peas, a can of sweet peas. Some oil, or how do you say it in Spanish? Aceite? Aceite. Aceite. All right, and then we have um, garlic. That also starts with an A. How do you say garlic in Spanish? Ajo. Ajo. And then we have un pepper. Wait, there's a bell pepper. We have an onion, cebolla, see? And another bell pepper, but green. Pepper, arroz, or also known as rice. All right, guys, so we cut this all up and it is presented nice. Now we're just gonna add ooh, this big, chunk of meat into the pressure cooker. I think I'm only going to do the first half because I don't think it's going to fit. Just FYI guys, this everything that you saw in there makes about a kilo and a half. Yeah, and now I'm going to add a tablespoon of salt. Just to add some flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add just the garlic bulbs, just like that. Doesn't matter how much, just whatever you feel like to add the flavor. Put some pepper. These are whole pepper, if you want to see. It's whole pepper, not the grounded pepper. I just put it in like that. All right, and then the onion, cebolla. I'm just going to make sure that fits in there. All right. And, this and then is this. Gonna stay in there for about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So then we'll add this in later, and then we'll just put the top on for the pressure cooker. So you add enough water that it covers the ingredients. I didn't say that before, but it's, there's not a, like a specific amount of water. It's whatever your pot takes. Now we're just transferring the meat to the board so that we can really pretty much just rip the meat apart. Okay guys, so we have the meat right here all shredded. Then we have our oil, peppers sliced, onions, garlic. We got some tomato paste, Let's see, tomato paste, peas. This is the um, remaining water of what was cooked in the pressure cooker. And then we have salt. It's probably gonna smoke or not, good job. Coat the whole pan. Then add the onions. We got the garlic. This was just mashed garlic, by the way. And then I'm just gonna let this brown for about a minute or so, and then I'll add the, the carne or the meat. You wanna be careful because garlic burns really quickly. I wish people could smell this, right? I was about to say, it smells so good. I'm not that advanced that I can just shake it and then do that flip. I'm not, I'm not there yet. <laughs> we'll get there eventually, We'll right? get there. A little bit more than a minute. Now I'm just gonna add the meat, hopefully. Nothing comes out. All right. So this is where we're gonna get that crispy meat. Cause right now it was kind of just pressure cooked, so I would say it's more like boiled. Wait, what is that? It's gonna be an A minus. Ingo is the tomato paste. I'm trying to just do like about two fingers worth, but. 
Oh, I don't more. <laughs> By the way, um, it's set to medium low, I would say. I have it on the four. Now in goes our English peas or sweet peas, whatever. You can find it at the grocery store, really. We got the, remember this is the chicken water. Or meat water. It wasn't chicken. It's meat. No, it was leftover from there. Yeah, from the pressure cooker. That's what's gonna give it that juice. Yeah. Ooh, looking real good, babe. And now, last, salt. We didn't really use measuring cups, so like I said, it's however you feel. It's, it's a taste. So this is all just eyeing, really. I'm just gonna cook this <laughs> until I think it's ready. I'll let you know how many minutes that is. <laughs> Finally finished. Um, we actually put this on top of it just so that it cooks faster. You want to cook it until the water pretty much dries disappears out. and dries out. It sucks it in. Yeah, and that's what gives, like he said earlier, the juicy flavor. And in here, I just want to make clear that we just put some rice, some the rest of the peas in there. Also, we added this flavoring to it. These two. We added pollo asado and the amarillo yellow color coloring. And we just cooked it like regular rice, put it in the rice cooker, and until you get the right consistency, whether you like it the fluffy kind or more liquidy. So food's ready. Right, guys so there you have it that is our ropa vieja in our with our special chef aka my dad everyone liked it as well did a really great job she did most of the things well my dad <laughs> shoved up most of the things and made it look good for the vlog we were the ones cooking it everyone was pretty happy with the food the taste was amazing i'm sorry that we couldn't film them giving a review because they're camera shy which is understandable mm -hmm. so See you guys in the next vlog.